What's going on internet land? Today is a special day here on the channel because it's gear review and demo day. Today we are going to be unboxing and demoing the Universal Audio Volt 2 USB-C audio interface. There's a lot of hype around this interface I feel like online and I've seen a ton of different videos on YouTube and such about this interface, but I myself right now use a Scarlett to do all my recording and whatnot, and that does me just fine. But I figured I would jump in and see what the hype is all about. What you're hearing my voice through right now is the Yamaha MG10XU. It's a 10 channel mixer, and it's great for this kind of stuff, and it uh, hasn't let me down yet. Let's get into the unboxing of this thing. We'll take it from there. Volt 2 bus powered USB audio interface with built in analog tone shaping, whatever that means. I don't know anything about this really, other than it's an audio interface. So, you know, it sounds super important. Let's take a look at some of the features here on the box. It says best in class audio quality. I think I'll be the judge of that. It has vintage mic preamp mode, record with the rich, full sound of a classic UA universal audio mic line preamp with tube emulation circuitry whatever that means full suite of audio software included it says get all the audio and music tools you need to create on a mac and pc retro inspired industrial design looks kind of cool to me it looks like uh something you might find on the death star okay so so far i'm really stoked because the package is pretty nice actually it's a good looking package and we love a good looking package, right? Some of the other things that caught my eye though, for those of us who would like to do mobile recording maybe, so maybe you're en route to Vegas for your buddy's bachelor party and you're thinking, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I have to have that uh, Weird Al Yankovic cover done. You need a mobile rig, well, here you go. You're gonna plug this right into your iPad or your iPhone and you're gonna bang out all those new rap tunes that everybody loves to hear. Let's open this box and uh, you guys are gonna come along on the journey with me and let's see how we do. Okay, first things first, there's a piece of circle tape here. Nope, now I can't return it. So here we go. Oh, look at, oh, okay, here we go. Let's see, we got a little tab here. Now watch, I'm gonna pull this and it's gonna go flying and break. Okay, we've got this, uh, nice black package here that it comes in so far i'm really impressed we've got this going all right well that looks pretty cool right let's see what we got on the front panel here we've got your inputs here looks like you could do xlr or a line cable input uh you've got your gain here your vintage mode if you're gonna do vintage or not i don't know what that means yet but we'll figure that out then you've got uh, your instrument. If you're gonna do an instrument or a microphone, press that button. You got phantom power here. You got direct monitoring so you can hear what your signal sounds like before it hits your DAW. You've got the regular monitor to control your uh, speakers if you're hooking up regular studio monitors. And then finally you have your headphone controls right here for your volume. Let's turn it around back, see if there's anything special. There's the on switch, okay. Yeah, we need that. You've got a five volt DC input there. I uh, haven't gotten that far. You've, you've got a USB-C, which is like the direction everything's going right now, uh, input right here, probably for power, I would imagine, or to connect to your laptop. And then over here, we have your right and left monitor inputs. Not that anybody cares about this. You probably just wanna hear what it sounds like. Um, first, let's see what else is in the box. Okay, more foam. We've got this here, and I have a feeling that this is the probably the USB-C cable. So far, very simple setup, which I like. Okay, and I was correct. This is a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, it looks like. And then there's another little guy in here. Let's check this out. This is the power cable, so you could probably connect this to a wall, honestly. So like if you have a wall jack, like USB-A wall jack, you can put that like for an iPhone or something like that. And you could probably put that and then run the five DC into the back for power. But I don't know why you would need to do that if you had this, but I don't know. We'll find out shortly. There's some instructions in here. I'm not gonna read them. It says it comes with all sorts of 
downloaded software that, sh that you can get, like a lot of universal audio plugins, which are pretty incredible from what I hear. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna set all of this up and I'm gonna show you guys how it sounds with just my voice. Yeah, we'll go from there. Let's hop over and see it all set up. Okay, so as you can see, that little green light is flashing now and uh, I've got the gain turned up to about two o'clock. Next to that is vintage mode, which is not currently engaged. I do have the direct monitor engaged, however. Uh, but yeah, so this is what my voice, my speaking voice sounds like in the Universal Audio Volt 2. And it's not bad. I think it sounds pretty good. It's very crisp, that's for sure. Let me go ahead and engage vintage mode and let's see if that makes any difference. Okay, so this is uh, the vintage mode engaged. I don't notice a whole lot of difference in my ears, but maybe through uh, maybe through monitors, you would notice some difference. Right now, this thing is running through Streamlabs, by the way. It's not running through Logic. It's not running through Pro Tools or anything like that. It's just running through Streamlabs and we're recording. You can see the little green light is blinking every time I speak into it. So it's uh, got some range on it, that's for sure. I'm talking a little bit closer now, but yeah. So if you're doing like a podcast or anything like that, this setup might be for you with this Shure microphone and the Volt 2. I mean, that would sound great. I mean, it's an audio interface. So I guess the cool features would be once you really get the plugins dialed in and this thing functioning at full force, I'm sure it's probably a pretty good investment, I would say. And uh, yeah, so that's what it looks like all hooked up. All right, so we're back and I've got my guitar plugged into the Volt 2 and this is what it sounds like. So far, I mean, I'm digging it. Let me show you what's going on while I'm playing. Let me switch over to the other camera. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my guitar plugged into the Volt 2. It's in channel two, and my mic is in channel one. Vintage mode is on, and here's what my guitar sounds like. Pretty cool if you ask me, I like it. So my final thoughts on the Universal Audio Volt 2, I thought it was great. I think that it's gonna be really cool uh, when I do some vocals with it, which I'm really excited to do, so stay tuned. I'm gonna do some vocals for a new song that I'm working on, but I was impressed with the guitar sound. It sounds really crisp and clean, and I think it's a winner. I really do. I really think it's a winner. So if you're looking for a budget interface. I think that this thing goes for around 200, maybe 189. I would just say if you're looking for a place to start, this is a winner in my book. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time. All right, take care.